Hi everyone, with this video I would like to start a series of videos when I share my knowledge and experience with Flutterflow, which is a great low-code and no-code builder. So the, I faced an interesting question on a forum, how to pass multiple parameters from bottom sheet, bottom sheet to a parent page. Uh, of course this is usually done with the callback actions, they are not very well uh, clearly understood. Uh, still, so I would like to show uh, an example how can we solve this issue. So I have created the sample app uh, with the two pages. I have the search page uh, where I have search criteria and I have a modal where I enter search parameters. So my goal is to uh, press a button, open a modal, uh, enter something here, press submit and I would like to get result back to the search page. Okay, so let's start with the uh, with the uh, setting up the of the search page itself. So you see we have uh, name, surname, age. Uh, let's start with adding the uh, page state variables where we're gonna store the search criteria. So let it be uh, A1, just a very, uh, it's gonna be uh, for the name. Uh, then we have A2 for uh, surname, and then we have A3 and we're going to make it an integer uh, for the each. Okay, uh, then we can confirm and modify this uh, strings to display uh, correct values from the mm, page state, A1. Um, A2. And A3. So uh, what we need to do when we press search criteria, uh, we want to open the bottom sheet and somehow change these parameters. So uh, first we're gonna add the action to open the bottom sheet, uh, bottom sheet show. Uh, the um, thing is that we need to get the values back from the bottom sheet. Uh, the way to do that is to use the callback action. So uh, let's switch to the uh, bottom sheet model search and add the um, uh, component parameters and add the callback action here. So what I'm going to do, I'm adding a parameter. Uh, let's call it search results or search criteria. Uh, it's gonna be the action and uh, callback action can return multiple parameters. So let's add the parameter name. Uh, let's add the parameter surname. And let's add the parameter each. It's going to be integer. Okay, so uh, then uh, in order to uh, execute this action, uh, so we open the bottom sheet. Now we need to add the uh, action uh, to, uh, to um, execute the callback. So, so you see that uh, when you select an action here, we have an option to execute callback. So we execute a callback. Uh, we have the, now then we select the uh, callback action name. Um, unfortunately, Flutterflow supports only one action, but it's not an issue for us uh, because we have uh, just to return the parameters. So here we have name, string, we'll, we'll take it from the widget state search field one. Surname, we again, we take it from the widget state search field two. And uh, age, we'll take it again from the widget state search field three. Uh, well, of course, if uh, the uh, integer is not, if the value is not integer, that will be an issue. Okay, um, but what can we do with the uh, string from the field? Uh, we can do um, an exp um, the uh, code expression. So uh, we enter a code expression here. Let's add the variable one as var one as string. Uh, we don't, sorry, we don't need this one. We can uh, take this from a widget state search field three. And uh, we need to return an expression, which will be a int dot parse variable one. Let's check errors. 
no errors. So we are going to modify this string type to an integer type. Uh, then, uh, so the uh, callback is executed and then we, the next action can be dis to dismiss a bottom sheet. Bottom sheet dismiss. Okay, uh, now let's switch back to the search page. So here we have the bottom sheet, uh, which is, uh, uh, we need to select a component and we are opening modal search. And here you see we have the parameters. And uh, on the parameters part, uh, we have the action, which is a search criteria. And now we can uh, define what can we do with this action. So when this callback is executed after, uh, we press the um, after we press the button on the bottom sheet. This uh, uh, callback is executed, and then we can do something with uh, with uh, something here in this action flow. So what we need to do? We need to update a page state. Uh, we updating a page state, adding a field here, set value from the action parameters name. You remember we have defined that in the callback uh, a two set value from the action parameter surname and a3 set value from the action parameters h and we need to rebuild the current page uh, so uh, that's pretty much it uh, let me check uh, okay we have non uh, a1 is non nullable but no default default value set so let's set the value a1 here we have a2 default and here we set zero okay so uh, the there are no errors let's launch the build okay the app has loaded so i can uh, open search so we have search criteria then we press set criteria I'll let it be John Doe, aged 100 years, submit. Here's it, John Doe, aged 100. We can set another criteria, Mary Smith. Uh, you see the age is empty, so uh, it won't work for us. So age 10, uh, age 10. So let's make it a little bit cleaner and nicer. So let's start with uh, allowing uh, empty values. So they could be nullable. This one, this one, and this one. So we don't need defaults anymore. Uh, second, it might be a good idea to uh, pass the uh, results. Uh, sorry, the, the previous results. So here for this, we'll add the uh, component parameters. In addition to the search criteria, we add uh, a1, uh, which is string, uh, so disable required. Then we have a2, which is again string, uh, disable required, and a3, which is an integer, also disabling required. So we have, um, um, let me change the name, correspond a10, a20, and a30. Uh, and uh, I would like to put the default values in the search fields. So we have initial value a10, here we have initial value a20, and here we have initial value a30. Uh, so, and then uh, for the um, callback action, also uh, we set all these parameters to nullable. And let's go back to the search screen and let's see what we have here. Okay, bottom sheet, we need to pass the uh, it's not only the callback action, but also uh, three uh, parameters uh, which were uh, in the page state. A1, O, so page state, A2, O, and again, page state, A3. So uh, let's 
reload. Yes. Okay, the new version is here. So search, uh, set criteria, hello world, submit. Okay, here is it. We can remove this uh, still. Uh, this is required to uh, run the action and it's required uh, why it doesn't work because here we have uh, int parse so uh, we have this uh, code expression so uh, if there is no value then it doesn't uh, uh, doesn't work so what we can do uh, we can for example copy variable and have something like a, a conditional so if uh, if widget state is uh, sorry, it's not this one. It should be a condition. If the widget state uh, search field three uh, is mm, set and not empty, then we use this uh, mm, int parse. Otherwise, we just return, for example, zero. Uh, and again, restart. Okay, here is it. So set criteria, John Doe, and empty value, submit. So you see that if the value is empty, then we don't need uh, the parameters, uh, we just return zero. Uh, otherwise we return 100. Of course, I can uh, do a lot of improvements. I can, uh, for example, do some sanity checks, modify inputs and all the stuff. But the idea is that this is the way uh, we can work with the callback action. So once again, we have the action which uh, calls, which is defined uh, here in the, uh, in the uh, component, on the component level, uh, the action itself, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the action itself is uh, we just put the uh, multiple parameters of a different type and the action we can set the action to required uh, then the in the component itself we execute the callback actions uh, returning what we need put putting the parameters what we need to put and when the button on the on for example on the button press and when the callback action is executed, it's being returned to a main page, and uh, the main page, uh, we define and set what happens uh, with the, with the uh, callback, sorry, uh, we define and set uh, with what happens with the uh, callback here. So we have, of course, here we have multi could have multiple uh, logic, uh, multiple actions and uh, stuff. Uh, thank you. Hope the video is not too long and uh, hope it's useful. Uh, see you soon.